Hi, this is Mary Potter with The Feather Place, and today I'm going to show you how to make a feather quill for all the witches and wizards. They're great for party favors or for writing checks. So today we'll be doing two different variations of these quill pens. Um, we have one that just uses a ballpoint pen and another that uses um, calligraphy nibs. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the calligraphy nibs first. So let's start with the supplies. Um, first, we'll start with our feathers, obviously, and I got these from featherplace.com. I'm using turkey and ostrich. Um, we have some bamboo spears here. They come in packs of 100, and you will have shish kebabs forever. I'm also using some beads, and the most important part is your calligraphy nib and scissors and a glue. <laughs> So we're gonna start by um, taking our skewer and cutting it to the desired length that we want our pen to be. If you want a really long one, you don't cut it, but I kinda like to keep mine pretty short. So I have these uh, pliers that it's a lot easier to cut with them. So now that we have our skewer cut, I'm gonna take the nib that I'd like and I'm just gonna glue it onto it. So now the fun part um, is just designing your pen. I found these beads with uh, pretty good size holes to fit the skewer. So I'll start by taking my first bead and just putting it onto my skewer and kind of figuring out where it's gonna go. And you just glue it down. And you don't need a lot of glue at all, just a little tiny dot. So we're just gonna keep putting our beads on in your desired design. So now to insert the feather, you'll actually um, be putting glue inside of the feather shaft. Um, I kind of used an awl to um, press down the membrane inside of the feather. Sometimes you don't have to do that. It kind of just depends on the feather. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little glue in there. And again, you don't need very much at all. And then I'll just Stick my pen inside. Voila, we're done. Oh, this was so fast. Um, I'm excited to see how it writes. The ostrich feather is um, very glamorous, so you can feel really special while you're writing and all those autographs I'm getting from being a YouTube celebrity. Just kidding. <laughs> so for our next pen, we're gonna just be using a, a regular old ballpoint pen. And these are great for um, kid crafts or like party favors, that kind of thing. Um, and then it'll end up looking something like this. It's less messy too, you don't have to worry about an ink well. <laughs> the hardest part is to take apart the pen. So I'm just gonna kind of use my pliers here to pop it off. I'll take this part off too. So I'm first gonna start by um, cutting a little bit of the feather end off. And it's a lot easier if you soak it in hot water first. Just doop, cut it off and then again you might have to use an awl to press back that inner membrane but this one doesn't seem to have a lot of it so again just like before we're gonna just come up with a design pattern with our beads by just taking a dot of glue at the very end of my pen just slipping my bead onto it and now we're ready to attach the feather and again, I'm just gonna take some hot glue and I have a nice um, fine point glue gun for this. And I'm just kind of putting glue inside of the shaft. And then just attaching the pin. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> so now we have these two nice quill pins. Where there's a quill, there's a way. So we're all done with our two feather types. Um, it was really fun and easy. I had so much fun. Why do I keep saying so much fun? <laughs> you did have so much fun. I did have a lot of fun. 
Um, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the link below for our feather favorites. Uh, we have all different shapes, sizes, colors, quantities for any witch and wizard in your life. Bye!